Whatever happened to common sense in government, we've got it. We've got more than anybody's ever had. Meanwhile, the radical left Democrat Party is divided in chaos and having a full-scale breakdown, all because they can't decide which of their candidates is more unfit to be president, sleepy, crooked Joe Biden or laughing Kamala. Laughing Kamala. As you know, in our recent debate, and in honor of all of you, I dealt Joe Biden, even according to the fake news media, the most decisive and overwhelming defeat in the history of presidential debates. I think so, right? I think so. But it was sort of easy, if you want to know the truth. Our victory was so absolute that Joe's own party now wants him to throw in the towel and surrender the presidency after a single 90-minute performance. They want Crooked Joe out of the race. It's a shame the way they're treating him. But don't feel sorry for him. He's a very bad guy. He weaponized government. Remember that. Let's do another debate this week so that sleepy Joe Biden can prove to everyone all over the world that he has what it takes to be president. But this time it will be man to man, no moderators, no holes barred. Just name the place anytime, anywhere. They, what they're doing to our country is not even believable. That's why Florida is going to defeat the radical left Democrat hoaxers and liars and the election day. We are going to tell crooked Joe Biden, Joe, you've done a horrible job. You're fired. Get out, Joe. You're fired. I will not cut one penny from Social Security or Medicare, and I will not raise the retirement age by one day. Biden is going to do that because he's allowing these people that come in to go on to Social Security and Medicare, to go into the hospitals. And, you know, we want to be nice. But no country can sustain this. No country can sustain it. I kept that promise for four straight years, and I will keep it again. We have plenty of other resources. We're not going to touch Social Security or Medicare. If the millions of Biden migrants became citizens, Medicare and Social Security will be gone. They'll be gone. They'll be gone. And today he's with the people from NATO. And these people are sharp. I know them very well. Every one of them, they're very smart. They're at the top of their game. And they're saying, what the hell is with this guy? We, don't, we can't figure it out. I went and didn't make a nice speech. I said, what the hell are you doing? Nobody's paying. Nobody was paying. But I didn't want to be obnoxious because I felt, you know, it's the first time I'd ever done this. I went. I didn't even know what the hell NATO was too much before, but it didn't take me long to figure it out, like about two minutes. And the first thing I figured out was they weren't paying. We were paying. We were paying almost fully for NATO. And I said, that's unfair, but I didn't want to make a big mess. You know, I was president for about 15 minutes, and I didn't want to, you know, go after NATO is my first thing. And these countries, now we added a couple, but 28 countries, and they said, Sir, could I ask you? I said, you have to pay your bills. They said, sir, may I ask you a question? If we don't pay our bills, will you protect us from Russia? I said, you mean you're delinquent? They said, yes, we're delinquent. Let's say we're delinquent. Would you protect us? I said, no, I will not protect you from Russia. The money came in by the billions. It came in. <laughs>